are you guys? Good morning. <laughs> all right, so I finished all of the little, the little minis for December, and um, boy, are they colorful. Um, you guys kind of helped me working on these on my live stream last, what day was it? Um, Wednesday, I guess. Yeah, we were doing some of the trim on, on some of them. Um, so yeah, so I finished them all up. I got them all stuffed and, um, all embellished up and good to go. Um, these were really, really fun to make. <laughs> and like I said, colorful, um, way more colorful than I'm used to, <laughs> but you know, I figured, um, I would just go with it, you know, and go for it because I really, really do love color a lot. And, um, it was really fun to be able to just kind of, you know, go crazy with color. So, um, so that's sort of the theme, I guess, is, um, colorful. Um, and so I was able to finish 18 of these little telltale books. Um, these are repurposed little children's books. Um, the, they date from the forties through the early seventies. Um, none of them are any newer than that though. I think the old or the most, the newest one is I think the HR puff and stuff, which I don't know, 100%. I didn't look at it recently, but I think it was like 1970, maybe. Um, anywho, so, yeah, 18 of them. And so each one has some buttons on the spine, and these are just sewn on to the, the thread that holds the signatures in. There's two signatures in each one. Um... And then the cover has been rebuilt. These were just little skinny little books, you know, originally. Um, so they all have a one inch spine now. And um, I didn't do anything to the covers as far as, you know, really altering them. Um, all I did was, you know, build this spine using some canvas and uh, some other fabric on the inside. And then did some embellishing with... Um, pom-pom trim and rickrack and what have you and then um, I did a hitch post closure with a black uh, rubber band hair tie you know fabric covered rubber band hair tie and then um, for identification purposes um, I added a little charm of hearts so paper hearts and so this is actually four little hearts that are all connected with an eyelet, okay? So you could make, you know, four little secret notes or something in there if you wanted to. Um, and then during my last live stream, I collected all the names of all the people that were actively chatting in the, in the group. And we drew names out, and my son Sammy helped me with that. And so I named each one of these after... 18 of those lovely young ladies and um so that's kind of I don't know it's just my thing lately I'm just naming these journals after after women and uh excuse me um all right so I got a little charm here with the name on it so this one is named after Josie and um and then with like a kind of an oversized jump ring and then on a little um, bulb pen or some people call them garment pins. Um, I just added another little charm. Okay. Onto that jump ring. So, okay. So that's basically the gist of it. Um, I will go ahead and flip through. Um, well, let me show you the covers of all of them first, and then I'll do a complete flip through. So, so you can, you know, kind of get an idea of, of what they all look like on the front first. So this one is, like I said, this one's Josie. And this is made out of the book uh, Dodo the Little Duck. 
and I'm just going to stack these up over here. I'll be glad when I can get these put into the like storage room. Um, and then this one is Carmen. This is named after Carmen. And the book is um, Big Little Kitty. Okay. And I love that you can see like the little sticker, little price tag sticker is still on the book. <laughs> There's a few of them that, that have those. So that one's Carmen. And then this one is Barbara. And this is the Alphabet Rhymes book that's been repurposed. So there's the back. I should make sure and show you the back of all of these too. So here's Carmen. It's the same Rick Rack. And the back of Dodo or Josie is the green Rick Rack. Okay. So that's Barbara. And then this one is. Who is this one? Oh, this one's Marlo. So this is actually Mary, but Mary preferred me to use her last name, which is Marlo. Okay, so there's the front and the back. And each signature is right about 20 pieces of paper in half, so about 40 pages. If you count front and back, you've got about 80 front and back surfaces um, that you can work with. And then in the two signatures, you know, so you've got a good 160, um, you know, actual pages that you could use in each one. Um, so this one's Carla. I love this gingham ruffle. It's so pretty. And there's the back. And just red buttons on the spine on this one. And so let's see. This one is Debbie with a Y. We have another Debbie that's Debbie with a I E. And her name also was drawn. So I've got a journal named after her also. And there's the back. Really you know, all of these were in really good shape. So I was able to basically maintain the integrity on, the, on all of them. Um, so this one is Lolly. So everybody that has their name on one of these books was, was present on Wednesday in my live stream. So I'm very, very grateful to them for participating and for being there and, and supporting me. So that's why I decided to do that. Um, so this one is Renee. Isn't that pretty? This is two different little like ruffled trims. One of them is made out of tulle and the other one is just like a really pretty floral kind of fabric. There's the spine and the back. Very pink. This is like a super baby pink. And this one has a couple of little price tags on it still too. Okay, so that's Renee. And this one is Jude. Um, I believe that's how her name is pronounced. It could be Judy, but I think we I think we we go with Jude. <laughs> um so here's the cover on this one. And I love I love this little like fabric covered button with the pink gingham on there. And this is uh I only had one kind of small piece of this um, like tassel trim, but it just worked perfect on the edge of this book. So I didn't use pom-pom on this one. I used the, the tassel trim. And I love that it's so like, I don't know, it's just fun to play with. <laughs> um, and then some buttons on the spine, and then I went with some black Rick Rick on the back. Okay, and this one is Jennifer. There's the front. And this one has some more of that really pretty fabric um, lace or fabric, not <laughs> floral fabric ruffle trim, I should say. 
And then here's the back with a real baby pink uh, rickrack. Okay. That's Jennifer. And this one is Susan. We lovingly refer to her as Hottie Popo. She's a moderator in a lot of different groups and she's she's earned herself a nickname um but yeah her actual name is susan so. and there's the back i love this like florets trim and then this one has this um really pretty pale blue eyelet trim and then this other little pink almost pom-pom trim but it's not It's not. <clears throat> and then this one is Brooke. And I love this trim. I should have got more of that because it would have worked with, it'll work with other, plenty of other books too because of these colors, the green, blue, and yellow. But isn't that perfect for the cover of this one? Um, and there's the buttons. And then the back is just that little skinny piece of red rickrack. And you can see I used um, Baker's Twine on the top of almost all the tags that are in these. So I think that kind of adds to the overall feeling. And this one is Melanie. So this one has that red checked uh, gingham ruffle again. Bunch of buttons on that one. And then the fat, wide, white, excuse me, Rick Rack. Did I mention these were colorful? Um, so this one's Corrine. And this one was actually one of my favorites. I love the colors of this book and the, the story was really cute too. So I did not keep all of the stories to each of these books intact in the book or anything like that. And I won't even tell you that I used all of the pages from the books in these, um, because I didn't, um, I may have used some, but I know that I didn't, I didn't use all of them. Um, so this one is Aaron. And see how the buttons they move you can move them because they're really just tied onto that so and then there's the back okay so that's Aaron and then this one is Tiffany and to the viewer who had asked me about the artist on this, the whose you know family member was an artist in this book, um, could you please send me an email if you don't mind? I just had a I wanted to ask you a question. So, um, but this is Puss in Boots, um, but we refer to her as Tiffany now. And this lovely lady is Sandra. And there's the back. And then the infamous HR Puffin stuff. And gotta love some witchy poo, I tell you what. So this is the other Debbie. This is Debbie with the IE. The other one was Debbie with a Y. So this is one of the ones that you guys helped me with. Oh, excuse me. Um, with the hot pink and purple. And then I did orange buttons on here. And then I just did white Rick Rack on the back. So, okay. So that one's Debbie. We might as well... Um, we might as well just go ahead and flip through this one. 
since I have it in my hands. So I didn't do pockets on the front inside covers of these or the front or the back because I just loved every single one of these has a really cool image on the on the inside cover front and back so I didn't want to do pockets and so to make up for not doing pockets there I went ahead and I just did like a little pamphlet sort of junk journal um, that I just stuck in each one of these okay so these are basically just papers that I cut apart into pages and stitched them together and then I'm just I'm just putting one of these in each one of these journals. Okay, so this is something that you could, um, like if you decided that you want to give the journal as a gift at Christmas time or something, um, you could certainly keep the little mini for yourself, or you could even use this little mini as a stocking stuffer for somebody else, or, you know, just keep it in the journal. Um, it fits nicely in between the two signatures right there, though. So... Um, so let's flip through this. I should zoom in a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right. So, you know, a lot of a lot of book pages in these, and a lot of elements from kids' book pages from kids' books. Um, I didn't use any coffee dyed or tea dyed paper in um, any of these. What I did use was um, some of my old um, like cooking pamphlets, like recipe pamphlets. And, oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. And um, a bunch of stickers, mostly like labels label stickers like that so different kids books mostly the junior elf books and the um, Whitman telltale books so this was another pamphlet and then I got some cardstock over the weekend too so I used a bunch of that new um, cardstock that I picked up too so yeah, so this is one this is one of the pages from the alphabet telltale book. And then each one of these journals probably has three or four of these old vintage um, flashcards. And then um, four or five of these little just little simple tags. And then each each signature has an envelope stitched into the center, and each envelope is stuffed with goodies. Um, just different types of paper items that you can write on. Okay, and then this is another pocket with the flashcard, another book page, and another tag. Okay, and then on the back, um, there's a double pocket with another book page, um, some of the Tim Holtz um, wallpaper, paper, bridge score pad sheet. And I used a lot of vintage playing cards in these two. So um, mostly like floral ones. So and then um, there's a couple of other envelopes in each book. Um, some Tim Holtz kind of ephemera type of stuff. This envelope is cool, this security envelope, because it has a separate pocket right inside this window that is intended to slip your business card into so yeah so I thought it would be cool to just put a little journaling card in there and then I did do some fabric trim um, or lace trim on along some of the pages um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I put tabs in these, but, oh, so there's the pamphlet. And if you were crafty and, you know, you know how to do it, you could definitely stitch that in there if you wanted to. It wouldn't be too difficult to do that. But some of these new um, scrapbooking papers that I got are just beautiful. I just love some of these. 
Well, I should say all of them. Um, so this this signature has one of these paper envelopes in it. It's kind of like a wax paper bag. So this is another like double pocket. There's a pocket here and a pocket here. And then in the center of the signature is an envelope with goodies in it. So I got all the listings finished for Etsy. And I have every listing there. It's just that it's the same problem I had last time I was listing journals. Where it just takes forever to upload all ten of the images. I was able to get one image for each journal uploaded um, and I'll work on getting the rest of them put in but for now um, there's just one image from each journal so if you are thinking it would be great if it was kind of a surprise <laughs> what's inside then this is a perfect time for you to get one of these little guys um, otherwise for the rest of today, I'm just going to keep trying to upload pictures to those listings. And as soon as it, like, basically allows me to do it, I'll just hurry up and get them all in there if I, ha if I can. So, um, but each, each one of these will be listed individually. Um, and then, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it. That's it. Yeah. So, there's 18 of them. Okay. And they're all different. And each one, um, you get a free little mini pamphlet journal. I love this one. <laughs> little pamphlet in there. And then um, I still have a promotion in my shop right now. On um, There's a purchase amount that you have to make in order to get the discount. But... It's a good discount, and I'm also um, checking my email because I asked people who I named these journals after to please email me. So, um, yeah, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and you can, the best way to ask me questions, though, honestly, is not on YouTube. The best way to do it is in my Etsy shop or, um on Facebook. So, um, yeah, so get a hold of me that way if you have any questions or, or anything. Um, but do comment if you have anything you'd like to share or, you know, say about the journals. Um, I do look at the comments at least three or four times a week. I try to get to it more often than that, but, um, but I, I do get to it at least a few times every week. So it might be a couple days, but um, all right, you guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, if you wind up picking up one of these, um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. They're really, really cute. And they're actually very durable, very well made. So if I do say so myself, <laughs> um, anyways, you guys take care, stay out of trouble and I'll be right back. Okay. Bye.